This is the plaintiff, Nicole Martin. She says she agreed to rent an apartment from the defendant, and then when she had to go to the hospital, he changed the terms of their deal behind her back. She certainly doesn't want to do business with a cheat like the defendant and wants him to return her $3,698.70 because she refuses to live there. This is the defendant, Gregory Smith. He says the plaintiff pretended to be able to rent a three-bedroom from him, but when he went over her financials, it was obvious she couldn't. He offered to rent her a one-bedroom because he's a nice guy. The plaintiff balked, demanded a refund, and here they are. He's accused of being a rotten renter. All parties, please use your right hands. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, yeah. Thank you, Douglas. N Nicole Martin? Yes. You are suing Gregory Smith for $3,698.70 because he kept your $850 rental deposit and won't return it to you. Correct. All right. Do tell. What uh, happened? What happened was is that um, Mr. Smith and I uh, had signed a lease agreement um, on March the 3rd. Do you have it? I do. Uh, yeah. No, I don't have the rental agreement, but I do have the receipt. That Why he... don't you have the rental agreement you signed? Because when we signed it, he was going to give me a copy the next day, Just and he let, did not. Listen, do you have a telephone? I do. Does your telephone take pictures? Yes, it does. Okay, I need you to listen to me because I'm going to teach you something right now. Okay. That is not just for nasty pictures. Okay. Okay. So if you ever <laughs> sign anything, in the old days, somebody had to give you a copy so they would bring two originals and both of you, you would say, that's really, frankly, the right way to do it. Okay. But if you don't have that, if you're ever going to sign a document and okay. someone says, ah, trust me, I'll send you a copy and what, take a picture of each page and then you at least have a okay. record. Do you have the, the lease? Yes, I do. May okay. I see it? And what happened? So you signed the lease. Yes, I did. I signed right. the lease on March the 3rd, and okay. I gave him And then a... you're supposed to move in when? Uh, we originally talked about us, me moving in on the 15th. Well, what did the lease say? That you're moving, you're paying rent as of when? Uh, it was supposed to be March 15th. According to the lease? According to the lease. Okay. And then what happened? Um, and then on the... So I gave him a deposit on March the 3rd of $850. Of $850. Correct. And then he also May, gave... Is there a receipt for the deposit? Yes, it is. Do you have it? I do. May I have it? You can. Okay. And then what happens on March 15th or 14th or 13th? Or? March, uh, he told me that the unit was going to be ready around March 15th. And I called him actually on March 14th to let him know that I was not going to be able to move in because the very next day on the 15th, I was having spine surgery. Well, I mean, did you not know that on March 3rd? I did know it on March 3rd, but he told me that he was going to have the unit ready, so I was going to try to move in the weekend before. And when he still didn't contact me by the... Wait, but your lease begins on March 15th. Correct. So what were you calling him to say to him that you wanted to... Well, because I hadn't heard from him because he didn't tell me whether or not the lease was... I mean, the unit was ready. You weren't calling him to try to not have to pay rent? No, not at all. No, you were no, just no, no. informing him that Correct. you physically wouldn't be moving in the next... Correct. Day. Okay, got it. Okay. Go ahead. And so that I was having spine surgery, um, he kind of... So I was talking to him, and he seemed like he was a little bit hesitant. And I said, what is wrong? Um, is there something wrong with the unit? He says, oh, well, it was supposed to be ready on the 16th. I said, okay, well, I won't be able to do that. I'll be able to move in on the... On the on March, excuse me, April the 1st. And but, so, the, but I don't understand. On April the 1st, were you, were you trying, then, then you were um, speaking to him about starting your lease later? Or just? Yes. So, yes, so then, then you wouldn't be paying rent in March, right? No, because I wasn't going to move in in March. Was that apartment ready on March 15th? No, Your Honor. Oh, well, then it wouldn't have been ready anyway. All right, so go ahead. So what happens next? And so then um, after I get out of surgery, I received a text message to him uh, um, when we signed the lease, it was supposed to be twelve fifty for a year. When I got out of spine surgery on the 15th, the next day, I received a text message from him that he was changing the terms of the agreement, that he wanted to give it to me for twelve fifty for six months, and then the next six months for 1500 And I told him, I said, here's my official notice letting you know that I am not in, I'm not in agreement with the terms of the agreement, and I would like to have my A50 back. He said that was fine, no problem. By and text he said that? Yes, he did. And, and then did he ever return the 850? No, he has not. What reasons did he give you for not returning it, or you just never heard from him again? Well, he told me that he was having some type of financial issue. He couldn't pay for shoes for his son. He couldn't do all these other things. But yet and still, I see him on social media buying motorcycle parts and riding up and down the road to Arizona to go oh. get to get to whip my money. I, maybe he was going to Arizona to buy the shoes. I don't know. Okay, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know. 
if the lady forgets everything that was discussed, all the things that was explained, the text messaging back and forth, the agreement. I don't know if she forgot all that or if she just wanted to leave that out. But from my knowledge, when I spoke to Ms. Martin, I explained to Ms. Martin, Ms. Martin, you can, you, I can, I will let you rent the apartment, but it's not ready. I said, I'm going to need a deposit to hold it for you because if not, then the next one is ready. The next person, whomever come up or wants to rent it, I have to run a credit X, Y, and Z, the proper process. So she goes, okay, well, I'll give you a deposit. Thank you. When she, was it going to be ready? It was supposed to have been ready by April the 1st. Oh, okay. So when I spoke to her and I let her know that what I'm doing um, about the remodeling, she says, oh, well, don't worry. I'm moving out of my place. I have a place to stay. Mm -hmm. So if you need a little extra time, if you need an extra couple months, that's fine. A couple months? No. That, no. A couple months to remodel. <laughs> because who, I did a, who can, like, I'm moving out of my place and going where, did she say? She said she was going to a friend's house. And she's going to sleep on a friend's couch for a couple of months? Because there's a difference between going there for a couple of days and co a couple That's months. That's what she explained to me. In did you say that to him? What I told him was is that he told me that the apartment was going to be ready on March the 15th. According to the conversation we had, I told him, I said, yes, I have. So because I moved out of my place on February okay, wait, 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 29th. Wait, wait. Did you ever say to him you could take a couple months? No. OK, go ahead. So go on. No. OK. So anyway, explain it to her that the property needed to be fully renovated. So then why are you renting it out? Why don't you renovate it and then rent it out? Well, because I wanted I did. Because you wanted her 850 to renovate it? No. Because it kind of sounds that way. The renovation was already in process. What if she, it takes you three months to renovate it? Then what? Then she just I'm eats your eight, you eat her 850 and she's in no, limbo? No, no. You didn't think this was going to be a problem? In any Actually, event, let's talk about that. Because what happens, according to you, on April 1st, is you don't want to give her that apartment, right? I did not want to give her that apartment. Why once not? I, once I found out that, one she, one, she works for the school district. So we all know when you go out in the summer, school is out. So there's no pay during the summertime. Now she's out on disability. I don't know what her disability pays. I don't know what she can afford for this apartment. I don't want to be stuck while she's renting an apartment and her disability just so happened don't come through, now what happens? I'm back in court, got a file eviction. Yes, I know. That's a very smart move, except for here. Here's the one thing that's not smart. Mm -hmm. You already signed the lease. I did. Right, so don't you think that a little bit, that's a little Alice in Wonderland of you? Like, you know, lease for contract first, figuring out if I should enter into a contract later. No, you figure out if you should enter into the contract first. Exactly. <laughs> and then if, if, if you don't, if, did you do a financial check on her or what nope. did you do? That's what I did. I wanted, after I got her information. Or you thought about it better. No, that's what I did, the financial check. How did you do a financial check? What did you I, do? I had them run the credit. I had the, the... And did she have bad credit? It was okay. Okay, so what was, so what about the credit made you change your mind? It wasn't really about the credit. It was just it, that you it, thought it, about it It was more. just after I put more thought put into more it. Put more thought into it. After I, I sign a contract is when I put more thought. But then I offered her a smaller unit. She doesn't want your smaller unit. Exactly. So, right. So why won't you return her deposit? Well, because we already also signed a deposit withholding agreement. Right, but that's not an apartment you won't give her. But is uh, she didn't enter the lease, not me. What are I you was talking steal, about? Because I still was willing to rent to her a different unit that she can afford. I don't want to burn on her. Are you living on another planet? No, I'm living you in really this planet. You really mean what you're saying. You I really do. mean that. I love this. You see an apartment. You love the apartment. You work out with the landlord. I'm going to rent this apartment. You give the landlord $1,000. You're all excited about your apartment. The landlord says, you know what? I think you should rent another place and not that. Instead of three bedrooms, this other place has one bedroom because that's what you want to read. Because I am your father, Luke, no. and you don't know this, but you can't afford the three bedroom, so take the one bedroom. And then you of say, course. are you out of your mind? I don't want your one bedroom. I'll find another, but give me my money back. <laughs> gotcha. I'm not giving you that money back. No. Are you crazy? That is exactly what you're doing to her. I'm not. I had told her I'll give you the money back. Give me a couple months or give me a couple days, whatever. Let Wait, me fix a couple situation. of months. Because I'm like, let me get these situations. All kind of stuff no, just happened buddy, between her no, money and this. You shouldn't be spending her eight fifty. I didn't even spend it. Then why don't you pay her back fraud, her eight fifty? Because credit card fraud happened on my account where my account mm -hmm. got simply wiped completely out. Meanwhile, so you're taking trips to Arizona on a motorcycle and buying motorcycles. She's motorcycle. telling stories, Yana. That, those pictures are a bunch of old pictures. You all know about social media. Everybody's just posting anything. That stuff be old. No. People post what they want. People post the life they either are, are living, living or usually want everybody yeah. else to believe. Believe exactly. what they're living. Exactly. 
So mm. According to you, he was posting pictures of stacks of money. Correct, that because he, be because posting. because he had, his shop had gotten broken into after he did not he refused to give me back my money, and he posted that ha ha they didn't get the real stash. Well, that stash looked like it was eight hundred and fifty dollars to give me my money <laughs> that back, was the, that was the and that's what I needed my money back. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So, can a landlord change the deal and say, I don't think you can afford a three bedroom, so we're going to do one? I would say no. Why not? I just don't think that's fair. If they sign an agreement or you agree to something, then they shouldn't be able to change it. Sounds logical. What do you say? I think it might kind of depend on whether the the wording specified that it was a three bedroom. It says three bedroom. Okay, then I say no. But what if the landlord, honest to God, has reservations about how you are going to be able to pay month to month? Well, I think if the person who's paying hasn't done anything explicitly wrong and they're just a feeling, I don't think that's really... You're just kind of a slacker. I don't know. It's a hard decision. I'd say no. I don't okay. think that's fair, yeah. Fair enough going inside the courtroom. Seriously, you seriously think that there's a world <laughs> that is just and fair that allows you to keep $850 of somebody's hard-earned money hard when earned. you hard really. you refuse to give her what she paid you eight fifty for? Are you no, crazy? I didn't refuse. Yes, you did. You said I I'm just, not giving you that apartment. Just, you can't afford it. Take another. I, no, because in the, in in one instance, I offered the apartment instead of going a whole year for twelve fifty because I know that the apartment is way undervalued then now. Then tough. What do you think this is? Seriously, I'm and not laughing there's, anymore. There's no what dates on the agreement. That's why is, there's no dates. There's no dates on the agreement? No, because we didn't sign a date on the agreement because there was we don't know when she was going to move and she didn't even complete her deposit. Why is there no date? I thought, just I thought have, everything was faded. No. Okay. I, I have no reason because I have no agreement. I don't care. I don't care. I don't even know why I'm asking because it doesn't matter. Okay, well, because the bottom... No, everybody stop. Oh, oh. Okay. You paid eight fifty for yes. something, and he refuses to give you the right. something. I didn't so yes, you did, and oh, good. So then you're gonna give her the something. That's what's gonna happen. Hey, the something. <laughs> okay, something. What is wrong with you? I had to check the stacks, the statuses and stuff. I had to the statuses of what? You owe the lady eight fifty. Why would you I, not owe the lady eight fifty? Because in the agreement was to do one thing, and I switched the agreement to make it better for her. Okay. Which she... No, you are not in charge of what is better for her. And no one I'm in charge of my a... stuff, Stop though. talking and listen to me, okay. because you're done talking. Okay. You are not... It's funny until it's not funny, and right now it's not funny. You are not in charge of what's better for her. That is very condescending and disrespectful. She rented a three-bedroom. You're trying to shove down her throat a one-bedroom. She doesn't want your one-bedroom. You, you don't have a right not to rent to the three-bedroom, but if you're going to not rent to the three-bedroom, then you certainly don't have the right to keep her $850 because that makes you a thief. I okay? Didn't keep a it. thief. A thief. A common thief. I didn't now, keep it. you're not suing for $850. You're suing for $3,698. Please should explain. Okay, not a problem. I'm asking for my hotel bill for three weeks at the Ramada Inn. I'm also asking for uh, my relocation fee that I had to move in with a relative on June 1st. Okay, but here's my question to you then. I'm looking at, you don't even have a lease, but his copy of the lease is blank on dates. So it sounds like there was some hesitancy on when the place was going to be ready because there are no dates written in there. You had said that it said April for, or that it said March 15th. Right. Because that's what that was him and I. Well, that's what right. I, uh, so let me say this. There's I, March 15th, I thought, April 1st. Right. I thought he said that it was, uh, right. from what I understood, the apartment was going to be ready on March the 15th. Okay. That was our verbal agreement. Um, and so when so I, sure. right. And so right. when but I contacted event, him on the 14th. If somebody, court is about making you whole, not about giving you a chance to ching ching, make that cash register I understand. ring. So, if, if he had, in fact, given you your deposit back on the day that he should have, mm -hmm. okay, you still would have had to go to a Ramada Inn or your friend's house or whatever it is else that you were going to do. You okay. still would have had to do something else. So what okay. you get is the 850, not the 3698 okay. I am going to order Thank the you. defendant to forthwith return your 850 plus your court filing fees, of course, because you win the case, plus prejudgment statutory in. If you say one more word, I may actually get off from this bench. <laughs> Plus prejudgment statutory interest from the day he should have returned your money. Okay? That is my judgment. Suck it. Suck it. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable, Judge. Well, the plaintiff wins this case, no question about it. He even gets interest on that $850. The judge really threw it at you. What do you think? She socked it to my pockets. She did. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I just. 
This is absurd. Like, the lady don't know her left from her right, and I'll get charged eight fifty Plus interest. Plus interest. It's going to hurt. Good God. Yeah. Wait, why didn't you give her the money back? Because, again, right after she contacted me... The, my, we can't go through the whole case. Yeah, just, stuff just started happening financially, and I explained right, to her that, right. and it just messed up. Well, you got screwed. Okay. No, you didn't. She's the one who got hurt. Oh, all right? no. Yep, she did. Sheesh. You owe her the money. Good okay. God. <laughs> Sorry. He is a cute defendant, though, you know? I, I know you don't think that. But anyway, how do you feel about the outcome? Well... $850, you get interest, but not the rest. Right, not the rest. So but, it's worth coming to court for? Well, it was. Okay. And so it is what it is. So big question, how do you feel after spine surgery? Well, I'm, I'm okay. You doing you better? Know? Yes, I am. I okay. walk without a cane, so I'm not too bad. Well, congratulations. All right, thank you. I appreciate right, thank it. Thank you very All much. Right, have a great day. Okay. Harvey? Okay, uh, Doug, this is so simple. I, what the landlord should have done is a financial check before signing the lease. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.